Let's get it. Hey, you know. Hey, we. Ooh, we. All right, bet. Bet. Bet, B. Bet, B. Hey, your boy. You know. Oh. Uh. Uh. Mm. Let me let me get some gun action. Let me get some gun action. <laughs> What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Edwin from Yeah, I'm talking about how y'all doing today. Anyways, it's July 1st, so I wanted to share with you guys a bunch of pickups that I had through June. Nothing crazy. Honestly, it's just a bunch of products that um, I was interested in buying through June. But um, for some reason, they just there weren't there wasn't there wasn't any uh, there wasn't really any product reviews on on a couple of these things. So I figured I would put it out there and and let you guys know what I think about these products. Help you make an informed decision, okay? You know? So the first thing we picked up in June, Hydro Flask. This one's pretty cool, I always wanted one. So they dropped three colorways of these. One is like a rainbow with a pink top, and then one's like red, white, and blue, with like a white top or something like that. I think they're calling it like a Hawaiian snow cone, something like that. You get, you get a little chop vibe from it, you know, some light. Anyways, this is a 32 ounce. They have the, uh, I don't even know if I'm holding it up right, but they have like the dimensions and stuff on the bottom. It's good for a day trip. This is usually what I'm bringing to the beach. I'll pack a six of Bud Heavy and then your boy, your boy be out there dehydrated in, in, a, in, in 100 degree weather. So you got to keep the water on deck. There's a lot of comparisons between Hydro Flask and Yetis and um, some other brands. But I mean, to be honest, I just like this color and I like this little guy that's on there. <laughs> so I got it, you know. There's a couple dings on it. Uh, I think I dropped it a couple times, but it's little marks here and there. The cap's looking a little, a little raggedy now, but you know the wear and tear with these just kind of comes with adventures. The one thing I do appreciate about this is the the wide mouth. You know, filling it up with ice, things like that. It's easier to get in there and uh, easy to pack. Smoke break. <laughs> so the next thing I got, I had been looking for a new pair of uh, beach shoes, or I guess flip-flops, but I kind of wanted to take a break from flip-flops, even though it's Team Rainbow, you know. I've been wearing rainbows for so long because, you know, you get a pair and those things just don't die. So I wanted to try something different. I've been wearing these. Oh, just sand just got everywhere. I started wearing them out to the beach and realized that I needed something else just because they were hard to walk in at the beach. So I ended up getting some Tevas or... Tevas, according to the website. I'm gonna I'm just call them Tevas just because it's easier to say. <laughs> but um, yeah, these have been doing a trick. So we did a little waterfall trip in, in Nashville recently and I just wore those basically the whole trip. I wore them yesterday and got into the water and they smell kind of funny now. So as far as like the durability on these, I don't think they're gonna last very long. Um, just because you do have like the Velcro straps. Um, but I mean, for the price, they're pretty comfortable. I was trying to decide between these or the uh, Chacos. For what I was using it for, you know, just daily wear, going to the beach, things like that. I'm not doing like any crazy hikes or anything like that. Um, these kind of just fit the bill. Yeah, they're pretty comfortable. They do smell a little bit though. Mm. So <laughs> while we were in Nashville, you know, one of the things that I wanted was I wanted a couple, well, I guess I wanted a couple things. The main thing I wanted was a bolo tie, and I did get that with a little turquoise, uh, little turquoise gem. I don't know nothing about cowboy boots before you guys uh, ask me anything. I picked up these boots from uh, Buffalo Exchange. We were just out there one day. These spoke to me. So these are made by uh, Rebeldi. Your boy practiced in his, uh, his get up dance, so. so I keep those in the car, you know, just in case. You know, I pull up to the club and uh, <laughs> in case I pull up to the club and they're like, nah, bro, you gotta, you gotta have some shoes, bro. So that's what I'm stepping in with. I've been, so the next thing I've been enjoying lately are these headbands. Um, and I like them so much that I just balled out. So I got, six, I have seven of these now. So these are made by Natural Life. But this is the half boho bando. Um, this one I got on my head too, it has llamas on it. It's kind of fun. <laughs> and this is like one of those things where I wish I would have thought of this. Especially like if you got a big forehead like me, you want to cover that junk up. 
you got that receding hairline or something, you know, you throw on a headband, bro. But we just, we stocked up now on these. There's a couple more colors that I'm trying to get. They're just so expensive. That's the thing. They're like $10 for one. That's about it. Gets the job done. That's the main thing. But I feel like they won't last very long. Maybe I just got a big head, so I'm just like overstretching them. It reminds me of like if you cut off a t-shirt sleeve. <laughs> the patterns are pretty cool, so, you know, $10, $10 for one. They finessed me. So this is the Patagonia carry-all bag. Um, comes with a long strap. This this is my uh, beach bag right now. I've been using for using for the beach. Let's see what we got in here. Oh, my favorite beach game. Little uh, little frisbee. Couple books. What are we reading right now? Cats 22. This junk's funny as shit. Then I also got what is this? Um, 12 Rules for Life. That's a long ass book. Yeti koozie. This thing is pretty good. Bluetooth speaker. And then you gotta have the spray, you know? There's a bunch of sand in here. I'm not gonna flip it out. They fit a lot of stuff in here. I also put a towel in here too. And um, when you're not using it, it kind of folds into itself into this little pocket here. Like a lot of Patagonia products. So, yeah. That's the uh, Patagonia carry-all bag. It's been some June pickups for you. Um, hopefully, hopefully you found this uh, informational. <laughs> Alright y'all, till next time.